The 2027 Africa Cup of Nations will be hosted by three nations. Has it ever been in three countries before? I cannot recall, but this is a historic moment. This means that you can have a three-team bid and be successful. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see a Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Maghreb, AFCON. That would be fantastic. But this is huge that Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda will host the 2027 edition of the Africa Cup of Nations to Together. This is really, really good because I was thinking if you're an East African nation, particularly if you're from East Africa and you want to see the AFCON at home, you're not going to win the bid on your own. So it's very, very clever that they've colluded together. They need what six stadiums. That means just two stadiums each. Yes, they've got a lot of work to do and they've probably got to start working from right now to make sure this happens. We've seen the likes of Guinea meant to host 2025 and get that taken off them. But I welcome this decision and it coincides with sort of Dr. Patrice's AFCON around the continent. You've got the Cameroon AFCON that was in sort of Central Africa. You've got the Ivory Coast one in West Africa. You've got the Morocco bid in North Africa and now you get this joint triple bid in East Africa. And I think that's the best way to do it. Make it fair. You don't want it in West Africa all the time or Central Africa all the time or North Africa all the time. You want to see different cultures, different vibes, how it gets on, different memory. So I welcome this decision. I'm, I'm very surprised, like pleasantly surprised that they got this bid. Now, of course, this means you've got three nations there that have now qualified for AFCON 27 that may well have not through the qualification process. Only one of these teams is going to the upcoming AFCON, and that's Tanzania, um, who narrowly got through and they had to draw in Algeria to get that. So you think about it, you've got Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda have now all qualified automatically as hosts for that competition. So when the qualifying for that happens, essentially you've got now 21 places instead of 24. That's going to be much tougher, not too tough, but a much tougher qualification process. The luck of the draw will matter in that process because you've got 21 teams wanting to go to that and they're all not going to be in pot one. So let's say, for example, Algeria were drawn with Kenya and two other teams. Kenya are going to qualify as host, which means only one spot available in that group. So you effectively have to come first or bust in that group if you get one of the three host nations. But it's huge for them and um, be interesting. The travel should be okay. All the countries are neighbouring next to each other. So they're not all a million miles away. Everyone can stay based. It'll be interesting to see what countries get based in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda. And um, logistically, if the three-team AFCON works you're going to see a lot more bids like that. I reckon you'll get the Maghreb bid one day. That'll be an unbelievable tournament. I think you'll see maybe... Um, I'd like to see other stuff, you know, like Libya, Sudan, Egypt, that area, other areas of the continent, South Africa, Lesotho, Namibia, stuff like that. So I'm really pleased for that. But they've got to get the facilities ready, literally from now to be ready in time. And it's good that the AFCON is rotating around the continent. It's just a bit of a kick in the teeth for the likes of Algeria, who wanted to host and obviously withdrew, as we said but then the likes of Kenya and Uganda can get an AFCON. So it speaks volumes about the nations that are unsuccessful successful in their bid. And when they won the bid, and you, if you watched it live, you saw what it meant to them. It wasn't like Morocco where Lech just, just clapped his hands. He didn't even stand up. He was like he knew he'd won it in the back pocket. This was genuine. Look, the smiles, the heart, the emotion. They're going to get AFCON in their country for the first time. And we know hosts can go far. We've seen Equatorial Guinea make a semi-final, for goodness sake, as a host nation. Imagine a Kenya a Uganda, a Tanzania making it to the quarterfinals, to the semi-finals. That would be unbelievable. And they're going to fill those stadiums. That's three times as many host nations. That's three times as many packed stadiums. That's three countries worth of football supporters. So really, really exciting. Got to get start getting ready from now. But we're going to see AFCON in the east of Africa. And um, I, I hope it's going to be a great tournament. It'll be something different for sure. I mean, even recently, we, we had Cameroon, Ivory Coast, and it was going to be Guinea which is not, a, it would have been basically the same region three times in a row. So it's nice we've got Morocco in the north now, and then these three nations in the east. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of this free team uh, AFCON host bid being successful. And uh, and yeah, and let's see how these tournaments go. So we know now we've got Ivory Coast to look forward to for 23, Morocco for 25, and Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania for 27. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.